Hi, this is Francis from A Plus Tutoring. In this session, I'm going to show you how to do the problem on chapter 6.1, number 53 in Stewart textbook. Now the question is to find the value of such that the area of the region bounded by the parabola y equal to x squared minus c squared and y equal to c squared minus x squared is 576. So how do we do this? Now you know that this function is a parabola, right? So if you draw it on a picture, you know that this function somewhat look like this, right? Because it's going upward because the a value here is positive. Now the other one is c squared minus x squared. So it most probably look like this. Now what is the value c? We need to find an intersection of the two curves. Now I drew it on this, it looks like that is on the zeros, but it most probably not be zero. So let's see how can we find an intersection of these two points by make them equal. So I have x squared minus c squared equal to c squared minus x squared. So if you group them, it will be 2x squared equals to 2c squared. And if you continue simplifying, x must be equal to c. Well, I would say plus or minus c because when you square root the x squared, it will be square root of the c squared, which gives you plus or minus c. Because whenever you put the square root yourself, you have to add a plus or minus in front. So I know that is from minus c to c. So my integral is from minus c to c. Now the function, which one is on top, which one is at the bottom? The top one, I would say, is the negative one, right? So this function subtract the other one. As I show it to you before in my area between two curves, the summary of calculus two, it's always the top curve minus, minus the bottom curve, okay? So that's what it is. So let's set, set up the equation here. So the area is equal to the integral from minus c to c. The function on top, which is c squared minus x squared, subtract the bottom function, x squared minus c squared. All that to be dx. Okay, so you need to evaluate this integral. And I know that this integral is going to give me equals to 576, because that's the area. Okay, that's the area in between them. All right, so let's do that on the next page. So I have 576 equals to integral from minus c to c, c squared minus x squared, subtract x squared minus c squared, right? So this is what I have. Let me double check that. So this is what I have here. All right, simplifying this integral here, c squared minus minus c squared. So I have 2c squared. So this is 2c squared minus 2x squared. Integral of this, it will be from minus c to c. And if you do the integral here now, this is going to give you 2c squared x, because it's in terms of x, this whole thing is constant. And then I have minus 2 x cubed over 3. And this whole thing is from minus c to c. Okay, remember this is equal to 576, right? So <clears throat> when I plug in the value here, I have 2c cubed minus 2c cubed over 3, subtract right, subtract, minus c plug in here will give you minus 2c cubed, minus c plug in here will give you minus c cubed, but minus minus is a plus, so a plus 2c cubed over 3. Now you need to simplify this, I know that 2c cubed minus minus 2c cubed will give me 4c cubed. Okay, so this is 4c cubed minus, minus, so I will still have minus 4c cubed over 3, which is equals to 
576. So I have something like this. Let me simplify further. Let me recopy that. 576 equals 2. 4c cubed minus 4c cubed over 3. Now, put it on the common denominator will give you 12c cubed minus 4c cubed over 3. So this will give you 8c cubed, right? 8c cubed over 3, 8c cubed over 3, equal to 700. 576. So 576 times 3 divided by 8. So 576 times 3 over 8 give you c cubed. Okay. So this is going to give you what? This is going to give you 216 equal to c cubed. Now I need to take this cubic root. Okay. Cubic root will give you c equal to 6. And this is basically my answer. Note that I have my c equal to 6, and the other one is basically minus 6 here. So on the graph, basically, it's the same thing. So my answer for c is equal to 6. So for more information about area under the curve, please visit my website, goforaplus.com.